Hello. So in the previous part of the online video programming school, we have created a, a project in Visual Basic, but there was unfortunately nothing in it yet. So in this part, we will start to filling it. Um, so let's just open the Visual Basic. And here in the recent projects, click Dragon Fable Trainer. Uh, drag your mouse here onto the toolbox and pin it so you check this auto hide now double click on form1.vb so that's our form we have created last time uh, now uh, right click somewhere here under general and pick choose items in the tab com components search for shockwave flash object so here's our shockwave flash object check the box next to it and click OK now drag the shockwave flash object onto our form 1 you can place it somewhere like here, uh, you can stretch this form and you can stretch the shockwave flash object. Uh, now we can change the color, color of the background here in the form 1 so, uh, so there would be a bigger difference between the shockwave flash object and the background so we do this by clicking on form 1 so here are the properties of form 1 scroll down until you see this line back color pick it and choose just any color you want it's not important uh, what else we need is here go to all windows forms and uh, drag uh, a timer onto the form 1 somewhere here and drag a text box somewhere here great now we have to start writing the code uh, double click on timer 1 so this should appear. Now you have to uh, write some lines of code which will be um, written in the description box of this video but still I'll tell you what you have to write. It's HT... no, no, sorry. <laughs> it's me that refers to the form1 dot uh, a X shockwave flash one you can just double click here because that's uh, that's the name of our flash object you can see it here and also here that the name is AX shockwave flash one go back to form one dot VB me dot AX shockwave flash one dot base equals now quotation mark and write HTTP column double slash dragon fable dot battle on dot com slash game slash and quotation mark again hit enter then again me dot a X flash AX shockwave flash one dot movie equals quotation mark HTTP column double slash dragon fable dot battle on dot com slash game slash 
game files slash core dot swf question mark file sdr capital F file capital N name equals and quotation mark again then hit space and plus space text box one this refers to the oops text box one this refers to the text box we have created before dot text and this refers to the text that will be inside that text box so what does this actually do um, this is uh, this is the part of link that goes to the uh, to the dragon fable game that's always the same and in this text box dot text uh, in this part uh, we will just be inserting the numbers that are the latest uh, the latest version of Dragon Fable. So we have to go back to the form1.vb design click on the text box in the properties scroll down until you come to the line that says text and in and write this game 9 dot SWF so this should appear here now go to the timer click timer once and here in the properties choose enabled true now you can run and Dragon Fable should appear in this box so here it is Dragon Fable uh, my username is not important and pass password neither but okay just see that it actually works Oops. so here you can see that you can actually play Dragon Fable inside your very own trainer that's enough now uh, what we can also do is click here on form 1 once and scroll here in the properties scroll down until you see text erase form 1 and write dragon fable trainer or just anything you'd like that uh, appears over here. You can run it again and you can see that the title is changed. So that's all for the part 2 and see you in part 3. Bye!